And welcome everybody to the Fall Garden Tour for 2022. Some really, really nice entries in here today. And this time around. And uh, we're doing this the night before the dance. So I uh, hope everybody shows up uh, and uh, shows us some support. And uh, fights cancer. We made some uh, fairly decent money last uh, last garden tour um, for this summer. Uh, so we, we hope we uh, match or exceed what we did. But uh, anyways, we're going to start, as we traditionally do, with uh, Shadow Dance's garden. And she, of course, um, works her tail off uh, in between garden tours the whole time. And so uh, we'll try and uh, do it justice. But uh, anyways, uh, her entry in the, in the card was, uh, her garden name is Bountiful Fall Harvest Garden. Welcome to my island garden. Feel free to wander around and discover many haps. And there's that. The good old deer right here. Let's see. Oh, we have some Halloween traits, of course. A Titan Monarch on a gargantuan. Coronata wing. It's like stained glass. Now that is a big cattail. And that's just a mondo. My goodness. It's amazing how big these things get. Pretty snowflakes come off that. I didn't remember them being that huge, though. Are they because of it was uh, because it's a larger papillon size class? Is that why it's making it bigger? Or? You, you didn't what? The the snowflakes coming off of the uh, cattail are huge. Usually, the snowflake effect is smaller than that. Yeah, all the new ones have been popping really big ones when they get bigger size. Hmm. Okay. The new bond size are bigger too. And then we have uh, yeah, Petua with a force field. It's a tier 9 snail. Wow. It's an old snail. Lots of force fields in this garden. It's a cute little pond scene. Fire suckers on a terror. Oh, troop it, there's a triple terror as a tier 5. Nice. Double Ruby. B Ruby with a Ruby yeah, sucker things. Yeah, cool. B Halloween. Oh, these are double Halloween uh, turtles over here. Cool. Lots of leafy effects and butterflies, and that's nice. Oh. What was that? Oh, it's a 
Oh, there you go. There's a wisp. Double leaves. Wow, a lot of uh, doubles in here. Really neat. Hmm. For some reason the fish tank is not rising in for me. This is one of Sel this is one of Sella's fish tanks. Uh, her first one What's that she put it? out. I... It's just not resed in. <clears throat> but these are all the fishies inside it, so she packed that one really full. Kyanite with shield effect. We've got uh, B rainbow bees. We've double rainbows in there. We got um, got a tier thirteen. Did you accidentally de-render it? I I don't remember de-rendering it. Mm. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. But that's okay. The important part's the fishies. Um, oh, we got some toys in here. Double kyanite. I'd, I'd keep that as a toy. That's pretty. We got heart effects in here, too. Big fishies. Oh, that's the old fashioned rainbow effect right there. The aliens. We yeah, haven't dropped from my plants in a long time. I wonder if it's been retired. Hmm. Maybe. Wow. Nice shrubs. Tier 8 with stars. Double gemstone. I think I remember her buying that. Two double gemstones. That's impressive. Oops. Oh, camera's going crazy. Isn't that nice? Okay. It's a tribal F, so it's a butterfly tribal mark. Neat. Whoa! What the heck is going on here? I don't know if anybody's been experiencing really, really janky camera um, behavior since the update. Lots of laggy um, pauses. Endless with Halloween B. Yeah, lots of Halloween traits. Neat. I like this little clump here. This is really nice. Doesn't look like that. It doesn't. It, uh, Shadow Dance's uh, display here doesn't look like a whole lot when you're when you're zoomed out, but then you zoom in and you realize how intricate it really is. The closer you zoom in, the more detail you see, and it's all been placed very carefully. Very neat. Halloween sunflowers? Or daisies, not sunflowers. It's a daisy, you genius. Melon patch. Okay, here's a, a titan body on a tier 6 dragonfly. Wow. Ring effect and everything. WD. Wing. Those are pretty special uh, dragonflies right there. Nice. Okay. 
another fishy tank. Glowing, a tier 8 glowing body with tattered fins. She's got bats on that too. That's rare for a fish. So she has what on there? Bats. Oh, okay. You mean ghosts? Or does one of them have bats too? Oh, there is bats. Okay, I see it. Yeah, that is very. I don't think I've. Yeah. Neat. It's a neat little side trip there. And here we are, back to the beginning of the garden. So that was uh, that was Shadow Dances, and uh, next I believe is let's see Jolly Old Note Card. The next is mine. I decided to go second this time. Well, I don't know if I decided or not. I went second this time. What the heck? What I say. You want to see you at the next one? And here's my little uh, ongoing project, I should say. Added a few things since last you all have been here during the summer. Gave myself some uh, some more color breeding to uh, patches over here, trying to get that pure yellow at least close to it. I'll take orange too. That works, but uh, in Trying to incorporate all the different uh, goldish colored uh, mutations as well. But cute little sheepy hiding in the lilies. Lilies. It's probably easier to see with that thing going. There we go. Okay, of course. Happiness tool, a must have. Ooh, look at that. I forgot to turn the breeding off on these. Turn breeding off on everything else. It looks like a couple of them got under the fence here. <laughs> Most of my, uh, my old style bonsai over here, it's a tier 5 Mondo. That sunset mutation. So. Several different shades of uh, yellow, orange, red. Nice stuff. Now these wings I had to have. The Muse wings. Very, very pretty. The Muse wings. Nice indeed. A toad proposal. Stepping on him when I was trying to propose to his lady. <laughs> I'm such a bummer. Okay. There's some different little splashes of color, too. Although gold is love, as my daughter says. Yes, roses. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we got almost pures. That's right. Very nice. Not so much the, uh, not so much the, uh, um, mutations as the color vectors in this one. I'm trying to get these. Hoppers, and uh, of course, there's a spaghetti pile of terrors over here. Uh, 
got some shells up here. Pure yellow action. That's a that's an amber mutation on there. I believe. Okay. Yep. Perfect body with ember. Of course I have my other. Oh, that's what I was missing for that. I was missing a fairy shelter. I'm going to have to pick one up. I've got my um, fae over here. All sorts of goldy golden traits. Go. Yes, and this is, uh, again, we're back to the proposal. Okay. Trying to decorate my rocks. With some different thingies. Oh yeah, bewitched midnight sparkly effect. That's right, I got this one. And uh, yeah, it's working on pure yellow. Slowly but surely. Wow, I'm gonna have to go off that. I don't realize how many of these uh, little singles that I forgot to turn off. Yes, for those that uh, don't know Papillons very well that happen to be tuning into this, um, yes, this is the only problem you'll have with Papillons. Too many babies. <laughs> they just like to pile up real quick. Oh, Sela made this for me. An endless cluster wing with feathers B. Isn't that pretty? My snail rock. I haven't really done anything uh, with the beach yet. Not really. We'll see what we do in the future. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and this is going to be my. <clears throat> Everybody has to have a cattail pond. And that one's mine. Then Atlas, and he has attracted some new friends. This has been Miller's Garden. And now the next one is La Sella. La Sella. <laughs> so we'll meet you over there. And here's the third one, the third stop, which is La Sella's. She has greeted us with some fiery Fire. bits. Oh, and uh, if you stop in, you get a free copy of this. Uh, not a free copy. Is it a free copy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. free copy. Free copy of this pumpkin fish tank. She. Uh, Two together. Lots of space in there for fishy. So, uh, yeah, that's a really, that's, I mean, that by itself is a really nice incentive. So we have, uh, I like how you match the color for that geode there. That's uncanny. Which geode? Right here. Oh, yeah. With the, uh, it took a lot of breeding to get those that deep, deep red for the center flower. That's quite a collection oh, of Valentine's. Those are from uh, Gavin's line. Yeah, I've got a couple from Gavin's line too. Um, definitely cool. For some reason, I can't get the heart to pass with them, but I get the double valentine. Okay. 
All right, we'll ascend up the uh, mountain of death. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a swarm, swarm uh, wing with tribal J. That's mm -hmm. interesting. It's got a little rose coming out of it. It's a, it's a tier twelve beacon, tree speaker. Very cool. Yeah, I'm going to eternalize it soon. It. Then we so, have bonsai. Keep getting babies. With fiery effect. How appropriate. Yeah, the only problem is the fire is on the base uh, on the updated ones. The older ones, they're kind of up in the leaves more. I, I feel like you notice some more when they're up higher. But right. I really like these tallness that the new ones give you. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Oh, I see. There's the candy button. Except it's not a candy button, it's a rock button. Yeah, I'm not sure if it works for everybody, but if you're going in, I'll make it go off. Okay. There it goes. Whoa. Rock, rocks fall, too. Be careful, dodge them. <laughs> This creator is amazing. We made this whole thing. And there's a pumpkin down there just chilling. Literally. It's very blue in a very hot place. He's got fire effect. Fiery and face wide, grand, dazzling. I was going to put the wisps in here, but then I thought, well, if I have them flying around, they're going to get burned when the fire goes off. Mm -hmm. So instead, I, I tucked them in different places. Look at all this, the row of snails with fiery, isn't that neat? That's really or burning. Cool. Or burning. Some of them are burning. Oh, oh yeah, yeah this is burning. This, this is an S creepy A shell, perpetual body and a burning effect. Yeah. The reddish ones are burning and the orange ones that are That one's burning, fire. burning. These are tier sixes and stuff. These are all burning, except for, no, that one's burning. Uh, the one way back here doesn't have any fire, so it's one of the uncool kids, I guess. <laughs> no fire for you. Then we have these guys over here. It's a neat effect. Uh, it's really, really cool. It's a neat unlock. And burning is unlocked from fiery, isn't it? Yep. yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Here's a nice little patch just down here in case you'd ended up over there. Oh, these are pretty will o wisps. Galaxy of uh, Galaxy Wing. It's all on fire! Okay, these are fiery. Yep. Very cool.
I bought some Phoenix wings, which look a lot like these. These are the um, flame wings, but there's uh -huh. a Phoenix ones that look similar to it that I bought. I forgot to put them out. Neat. Nice touch with the choo choo. Oh, that's a mining cart. Okay. Yeah, uh, somebody made one originally. Um, that wasn't transfer, so they had to remake the whole thing for me. That's a pain in the butt. Because I copy. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else to your garden, my love? Oh, you could get up close to that one pumpkin if you walk this way. Oh, that's right. I just sent that. Just this one. You could dive in the lava and have a hot bath. Trains with the inmates. <laughs> yeah. oh, thank you. We don't want to cook a miller. <laughs> <laughs> Your avatar is going nuts. Whoa, okay. Sit back here. All right. Well, um, on to the next uh, stop, I think. This is Sellers. Uh -huh. And here we are at uh, Christabella Loon's garden, number four on the garden tour. And here we are at a, uh, stop number four, the garden tour, Christabella Loon Greenhouse at the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. The greenhouse is part of the gardens of the Sim and open to the public at any time. We breed and care daily, selecting the best for the beauty of the gardens. So, there's that one. So, the greenhouse. Looks like it's two sims wide. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see the ladybugs last time I was here. Uh huh. Again, we got quite a bit around on these. More Valentine's Day traits. Alien A leaf. Yeah, the alien mutations are nice on those shrubs. And we have some little planters over on the outside perimeter here. Nice decor. Nice double in. Oh, here's an L glass lilium from over here. Or uh, delphinium, excuse me. Softly pretty. Okay. Go 
pull up from the patio. Very nice stuff in here. Let's see, I know there was more. Wasn't there more than just the greenhouse? Uh, the whole sim is very uh, gardeny. It's uh, 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 gardens of Babylon, so they're right. like. Um, mm -hmm. It's like from the time of, you know, when Babylon was very lush and gorgeous. I think it's very desert nowadays, I think. Like, it gives you to another time period. I'd love to go riding here sometime. Mm-hmm. But I think the paps are mainly in the greenhouse. Yeah, it's quite a setup here. But look at all these waterfalls. Mm -hmm. This is an like, impressive, impressive setup. Historically, Babylon was so like lush that um, it was famous in a lot of the ancient lands. I think even the Romans were a little jealous of the Babylon Gardens. Lovely greenhouse display by Christabella. Hang out here for a little bit, watch it. Nice koi fishy. Lots of really nice shrubs in here, and uh, we've got some uh, liliums too. Oh, wait, no, those are shrubs, excuse me. Yeah, those are shrubs. For some reason, they look like lilies when I cammed out. <laughs> Got nice daisies too, and uh, yeah. I can dig it. And there's a loving rose right there to help out. to the next one then. And we're back. And we're back to the next one. And this is Michael's garden. And uh, it's the western garden. And uh, it doesn't have anything particularly to say. An awesome museum and garden is what his uh, words are for that one. And uh, yeah, with that. The museum uh, referring to is uh, his eye collection of uh, Amaretta horse eyes. So that is a legit thing. There are so many different eyes. There's, I don't even begin to speculate. Pretty sure it uh, goes into the thousands. Oh, easily. So yeah, there's that. I mean, it's not Papillon related, but I thought I'd showcase a little bit since obviously he spent a lot of time and effort on this. You know, organize this guy is. Oh my gosh, I was not born this organized myself. So it's always in. I'm always in awe when I look at it. <laughs> wow. Ooh, something. 
But of course, we're welcome to come back here and take a look at it. Um, I think this is a permanent fixture on his land. If you ask him real nicely, he'll probably come in, uh, probably t get, uh, t uh, take you here, give you a tour. Who knows? Michael's cool that way. Okay. The hoppers. Yeah, in this uh, museum in here. And, uh, Again. Where are you going? I'm going across the. Oh, did you see some hoppers? Yeah, you missed his secret garden over here. Oh, he has a secret garden over here. Okay, well, it's not secret now. I'm afraid the cat's out of the bag. He's got all his camos in here. Oh, neat. Okay. A lot of them have camouflage, or they've got cool eyes. Yeah, this is a neat little, uh, and of course he's color breeding him. i got a prince in here, too. It's like to he's trying to pull green go. Yep. Yeah. It's a Mondo, so it should be some live with that mutation boost. Yep. We're pretty close to it. These are T.O.'s, too. That's the rarest form. Definitely the strongest. And we move across the bridge here. And uh, this is his garden display. It's very cool. I, I love the way he uh, laid this out. It's just stuff everywhere. All this really great um, Halloween decor and fall harvest decor and whatnot. Of course, you can't go wrong without the gnomes. The gnomes will set you free. Very nice guard display here. Still trying to go for some uh, light colors over here. This one's almost red here. But uh, it could be more of a pull towards uh, the um, the oranges. There you go. It's like you're trying to cram uh, color breeding in just about every aspect of it. Pumpkins in here. Is that jigsaw I just saw? <laughs> mm -hmm. Very pretty. Somebody wants to sell me a mini horse. I'm like, Oops. I'm like, well, they've gone up in price. You should bring them to auction, but I can't buy them. <laughs> uh -huh. I got so many already. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The uh, um, the HUD won't work here because the scripts are turned off. That's right. Okay, I'm over here yeah. going. Oh, my HUD's broken. I'm like, no, it's not. It's not broken. And here's some more color breeding magnificence over here. Look at this patch of blues over here. With the green shells. There's some lilies. I'm not exactly sure what he's trying to go for here. This middle spot. He's got all sorts of colors in here. Flowers are cool, they just kind of stand up their own. And I love this uh, circle here. He 
can tell you much about the mutations because the, the scripts are off, but uh, yeah, all sorts of them in here. Yeah, he must have gotten bombed sometime in the past. Wants to keep the script up tight. I love these circles, though. I'm trying to raise them myself and make um make gargantuan of it. But they're the rainbow um, AIs, oh, and he's got on um, those aliens. Mm -hmm. I've only up to like about a giant and large. Yeah. Very cool. I love the sprawling display. Very fun. You can please you can come and spend a lot of time at just uh, hanging out with the decor. Pretty festive. Okay. And, uh, we'll. S oh, and, uh, yeah, again, I have to, uh, I have to plug his story. He's worked really hard on it. And, uh, if you want to see what Amaretto, uh, part of it, what it's all about, there you go. The whole building devoted to it. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys check, check it out. It's, uh, it's really uh, quite a great piece of work. Well, yeah, we'll see you at the next one. And welcome back everybody, here we go, this is um, Divine Starlight, uh, uh, we know her as Sandy, this is her contribution, which is uh, quite nice, let's say, uh, your name is Sandy, Divine Starlight, uh, garden name is Divine's Delight, you can say about your garden, it's a frond collection, yes, there's a frond collection, it's quite amazing. She's selling some of them too. Mm -hmm. She's got some for sale, I believe. She's got some prizes too, uh, somewhere around here. But yeah, there you go. I think she's unlocked every fron, I think. I need to go through my fronds and see what I'm missing. All those cool uh, drops. I love her display with her drops. I never know what to do with mine. Like, other than put them up and around a tree. Right. Nice ways of displaying things. Oh, check this out. It's really neat. Vibrant A inverted. Dang, that's pretty. Looks like she likes, um, Inverted and vibrant about as much as I do. Mm -hmm. I want to steal some of her circles. All these lovely heart, heart circles, circles, yeah. Then there's a um, massively uh, abnormally huge cattails. And then you go up. Look at how she placed these alien flowers. All tiered like that. Sheesh. So pretty. Okay. Are you able to Let fly just, here? Gonna... Yeah, you can fly here. Yeah, so yeah she has this incredible frond collection over here, guys. Check that out. Her patches are beautiful. There's a storming on an alien D. Just all sorts of stuff. It's just great. All right. See anything else I need to highlight, huh? 
Oh, if you if you filmed the, the whole 360 of the fronds. Check out all these glass fronds. On the very top. Yeah. Just got like all the rainbows. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, Rainbow K looks awesome. So with we hope that everybody. I hope. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, honey. Oh no, I was just commenting on one of our friends. Okay. So beautiful work. I love the. I love the structure. With the open air and the big spaces on the inside. It's really cool. Lots you can do with that. But anyways, uh, we'll see you at the next one. And here we are, oops, and here we are at uh, Renesmee's, stop number six, I believe. I just had it up here, I totally forgot which one, no, seven, excuse me. Stop number seven. Ooh, she's got these and, prizes uh, set for daily. Yeah. I can click them again. <laughs> Come on up here and grab yourself a, um, a prize from each pumpkin. <laughs> Each pump clops. Pump clops. Okay, there we go. So her name is Renee's May, and they're watching you guys. As you can see, with those big, huge eyes. Uh, if you felt like you're being watched, well, every step you take, every move you make, they'll be watching you. Police, uh, uh, police, both there. Uh, all 12 pumpkins and get your prizes. Don't forget to check out the pumpkin patch full of the uh, biggest Halloween ladybug collection. Puff Daddy uh, okay, so check wrote out an your... arrangement to that song too. Uh -huh. And he um, he wrote it for... Oh my! One of the puppies just rolled right out of bed. Uh -huh. You okay, Leo? So these are the fall. these are the pumpkin clops that she's talking about, and uh, no, for me, um, I had to de-render Puff, some things to get to him. <laughs> Puff Daddy wrote it for Biggie when Biggie died. Oh um, shoot! I he wrote a, a rap a verse for it, and the chorus was the police uh, song. Totally so rendered too much with one click, so we don't want that. We're like trying to film the garden. Anyways, you click on the pumpkins and you, uh, the pumpkin clop, pump clopses and you can get yourself some prizes. Oh, I saw one I didn't see before. And hopefully it stays up a bit. Um, yeah, lovely stuff. And here is the, uh, here is the ladybug collection. You get all of them. You get the little faces on their, on their backs. That's so cute. You know, I don't really like scary pumpkins that much, but I really like these cyclops. Hmm. They have captured me. I have one myself. Ooh, look at that. She's got burning, um, ladybugs. Burning triples, eternal, scorched, burning. Wow, where'd she get the scorched? Yeah. Are you zooming in on them? Zooming in on the pump collapses? No, on these ladybugs, they're eternal, scorched, and burning. Uh huh. Yeah, I got a few of them. There's one. He's got some. I've never even seen the scorched uh, mutation. There's the face D on there. That's cool that they can get faces. These are big ones. Oh, I see lightning. Yeah. I gotta look that up. There's an overcharged effect. Uh, that's such a cool lightning effect, though. I have one. 
One cool. scorched ladybug. It is gargantuan though, but it's the only one I have. No. Nope. I'll have to, I'll have to like beg her, be like, can I have one? <laughs> oh, I didn't I see like, this guy. I didn't see him last time I was here either. I saw him this time though. Oh, cool. Oh, well, this is a lovely display. Ooh, I got a, I got a deathly rainbow jade voodoo. Hmm. But there is Renesmee's. I like these fiddlers with the eyes too. Uh huh. Oh, there's a cute little hopper with pumpkins effect. B Halloween and E Halloween on that hopper. Yeah, I like the pumpkin ones and I like the scream ones. All sorts of great stuff. Even if you're not into spookiness, there's some fun stuff in here. Definitely. Well, okay. Do you think I missed anything, huh? Mm, I don't think so. I hope not. <laughs> I don't think I did. Yeah, good. So, it's a nice, it's a nice place. Very nice. Very well done. Okay. We'll see you at the next one. And here we are at Rex's. Uh, he is stop number eight. Thing here, uh, Sacred Eagle Crest is the garden's name. And um, fresh snow has fallen here at Sacred Eagle's Crest. Enjoy the crisp um, autumn breeze while exploring the mountain landscape. Relax by the fire, and if you're if you're chilly, stop in the wooden shelter. If you click door, click the door uh, inside the shelter. It will take you upstairs to see more. Cell is pointing out to me there's these fishies down here. Oh, really nice setup this pond right here. Isn't this uh your build? Yeah. This pond. Or am I thinking what? of a different uh, I think I'm thinking of a different set of sculpt or sculpts or uh, uh meshes. Oh no, this isn't mine at all. Okay. Not sure why. Cool. So pretty. Oh, don't forget to go upstairs, too. Indeed. Got this beautiful thing here. Pretty sure I got this. You got what? Pond. I paused at some point. It's really touchy, this button. Huh. Love the statuary and stuff. It's really neat. Oh, he's got little sparkles inside the terrarium. I didn't notice them last time. Really? Feasties. No, oh, no. Okay. Carrots. Ah. I love these little terrarium structures. Looks like leaded glass. These vivid E's are stunning. Oh, yes. And they're kind of on the golden side vector, too. Very pretty. I mean, you can I love touch this door. The wood textures. Yeah, the wood textures. Well, you can, uh, there's more to see upstairs, he says, so, uh, up we go. Well, right off the bat, we've got some very yellow, uh, tier 6 gargantuan normal shell. 
Here's one with Dawn. It's almost pure white though, but uh, they've got the nice mutations on them. There's a pumpkin body right there. He's got camouflage pumpkins. And that too, right there. I love the vines hanging down from the whole mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, that's good. It's a really nice touch. All right. Think I missed anything, hun? There's this really nice. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. That's separate. Okay. Make sure I got everything. I think I did. Okay. See you at the next one. And welcome. Here we go. Uh, this this is Francine's garden that she's been throwing together. She's been busy in real life uh, doing a hunt that she does every year with friends. It's kind of like a tradition. Which one? But uh, anyways, uh, welcome to my nightmare. Uh, ghosts and ghoulies. Are my friends so come close or so come and see who makes an appearance? So, Ghost and Gooey. She was talking to uh, pets, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, anyway. Big, huge cattail. Monster body with a rainbow A. A. Nice. And here's the glass frond right here. The tier 7 Mondo. Quite impressive. And let's see. And we have a uh, favorite part. It's the hearse. Which always makes a nice little garden scene in there. There's a double Halloween turtle right there. That's nice. That one. And we have, uh, let's see, more Halloween traits. It's like this is just proverbial uh, go-to place for uh, Halloween traits. <laughs> Not gonna have any trouble spotting them. There's a web. We have the camo. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know those could be paired together. Yeah. Until recently. Off into the weeds over here. A very nice little garden here. Definitely love the ambiance. Yeah. Is there anything else that uh, you have that I think you should know about, hun? Huh? Is there anything else you think I've missed? No. I don't think so. Okay. Did you do a complete circle? Yeah. And so you ended up back here. Hers is easy to find everything because um, it's all kind of in a spiral circle. Right. Some of them are a little bit of a maze. It's easy to forget half the garden. Yes, indeed. Well, we will see with the next one. Welcome back. Here we are at uh, Tiggy Poof's uh, little setup over here. She decided to go with a, um, a Day of the Dead theme. 
that uh, Fran says that she's got a special place in her heart for the sugar sugar skull stuff. Of course, it's one of our favorite uh, butterfly wings, the sugar skull. Pretty neat. Stakeholder here. Yeah. Love the collection of sugar skulls. Very cool. Very perfect. Mm -hmm. Snails who will escape. They made it to the next rock, now they just gotta make it to the next rock, right? Get it the heck out of here. They right. <laughs> <laughs> saw the scary ones over there and like, we're out of here. Um, oh, that's right. Is it? She loves the stops. According to Francine, that's a lot of stops right there. Very nice. Okay. Wild horses. Okay, there we go. So, very pretty production. So, let's see. Who is the next stop? And this beautifulness. I love the bannering. Very cool. Very, very nice touch. The banners. Oh, you mean the Mexican flags? The mm -hmm. Well, the, yeah. the streamers that have the skulls on them, yeah. Very pretty. So intricate. Mm -hmm. The way it's cut out and everything. Okay. Campfire is so peaceful. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Anyways, I will see you at the next one. Welcome back, everybody. And here we are at Surrey. Surrey's, uh, Surrey Grumpy Pants, I guess is her name now. But anyways, uh, we have uh, an assortment of things out here, just not just bundles. But uh, we have some... Uh, Here we have some uh, lovely pumpkins with the rune. Uh, very strong color vectors, guys. On these, that's going to start throwing peers before long. I love this giant dragon circle. And here we are at Surrey's Garden. Isn't this neat? 
All right, so reptile code. I keep oh, telling you guys, bird. you gotta breed those reptile eyes together. You can get yourself reptile coat. <laughs> Unrelated papillons. But anyways, this is just uh, garden name is just the current shop, etc. Anything you say about your garden? My favorite seasonal items: free gift and trick or treat, kinda. Under the construction still, lots to see. Use a teleporter, green flower. I believe that's horses up there, isn't it? Which ones? The teleporter. Um, I, think that's what I, I think that's what Shadow Dance said. Yeah, I think it takes you down to the ground floor, and there's um, Ooh, webbed. some uh, horses. This is really need something else. We have a uh, webbed effect on, uh, or webbed, yeah, webbed fruit on these uh, gourds over here. These, uh, pumpkins, very cool. We have all sorts of faces. Oh, this is the trick or treat that was uh, spoken of. There's another rune right there. Lots of beautiful circles. This is a nice space, actually. I like it. It's pleasant. Even more pumpkins, in case you missed some. Which may have uh, a fairly large number of the faces. Neat. That is an almost pure white pumpkin with no mutations. It's a tier 9. That's crazy. Again, tier 7 uh, over here. Strong green vector on that one. Yeah, that's going to be neat. Here we are, a full circle. Giant rats. And on that note, giant rats. We're going to move on to the next one. I'll see you at the next one. And welcome back. Here we have Callie. She is stop number 13. Uh, Purus Natura. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm probably not uh, enunciating the Purus right. But we shall try our best anyways. Uh, anything to say about your garden? Be sure to take a trip down the rabbit hole. Now, um, Callie almost didn't make it into this uh, garden tour. Uh, she had um, she had a object disaster uh, moving. She's been moving to another, like a whole f a new region or something like that. Ended up uh, scattering all sorts of stuff all over the place. So yeah, we're we're lucky to have her in here with us. So I'm really glad and happy that she could uh, put her throw something together real quick so we can have a look around she can be part of it and uh, certainly no small feat with all these little uh, papillons placed everywhere really nice little place nice use of space here uh, especially this creek in the middle love the creeks so we have a nice assortment of papillons around and uh, remember she did say something about the rabbit hole. If I remember right, at least most incarnations of Alice in Wonderland, the rabbit hole was in a tree or something like that. So here we go. Oh, there's the rabbit. <laughs> Whoa, with a, with a night, an ocean uh, an ocean fruit mutation on a tribal sea. That's pretty amazing. There we go. Down the rabbit hole we go. Now, apparently you're supposed to, um, oh, okay. I see you found my offspring. Some are much more powerful than others. Let's see, I'm not going to offer any clues. Um, so you have to find the right papillon to get out of here. It's kind of like an oubliette, except with the way out. 
And we have uh, a gift giver here, so why not? We have a misting bottle and helper. I do believe uh, we've been through this already, obviously. But yeah, this is pretty cool. But here's here it is. It's the only one that has the chair or, uh, item next to it. And here we go. All the way back upstairs again. And I ended up in the water. So do I have any buyers? Any buyers? So very cool, including a rabbit hole and all that. That's quite. That's that's really something setting that up last minute like that. So again, Kelly, great to have you on the tour, and uh, we will see you at the next one. And here we are at our final stop, um, well, at least final competition stop. That is, this is Sammy. Sammy, we, we were so happy. She uh, came and made our. She, she's been on uh, kind of a medical hiatus, sort of thing. Um, Trying to get better. Uh, we certainly hope she's doing better, and uh, our prayers have been with her all every step of the way. We've been uh, constantly thinking about her, and we miss you, um, Zam. So hopefully you get this and see our our, uh, our pleas. We love to see you again, and we hope you're doing good. But uh, yeah, as she gave us uh, she gave us a purple garden, so this is really cool. Some really nice uh, purplies over here and uh, even some not so perfectly but rainbow F's and uh, oh here's a dotted B and a dot C effect nice prism D fruits and uh, yes yeah, so it's very purple it's all done so nicely Lots of purpliness. Uh oh, what have we here? Snails in a line. Stuff. Okay, we have a we have a queue that is formed of snails over here. Petrol body with an S trail A. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what kind of plans they have. And oh boy, we have um, there is a fire terror god, I guess, of some kind. And it's uh, devouring children, so we have a Cthulhu wannabe, apparently. Born in fire and all that. Halo D. It's a tier 9 gargantuan hopper, guys. Halo, uh, Halo D. Um, fruit mutation. That's the, that's the eye, I believe, and sparkly effect. Which is obviously, it's very sparkly. And uh, let's see. I also have another gargantuan. It's a tier 8 princess. Whoa. Don't want to mess with this group. Uh, if they want to roast up a uh, baby, you know, whatever. And, uh, who am I to judge? Love this little space. You made such a great use of all the space in here. 
As my purple garden drifts into autumn, I am delighted to share it with you all. I miss you all dearly and hopes and hope to be back to my old self soon. Big hugs to one and all. Enjoy my purple joyful paps and don't forget to grab the goodies from that pesky pixie. And uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember where it is. It's not far. Is it Pepsi? Pe uh, pesky pixie. Hmm. with that pesky pixie. Very cool, very cool. All right, everyone. Love the backdrops and everything. Very nice package. All right, now uh, the last stop will be at the expo. So we can take a look at that. Anyway, we'll see you there. And we're back. I wanted to first off thank everyone who participated in this uh, in this expo. It was extraordinarily well done. Here we have uh, kittens display of the following uh, the following leaves and petals. Very nice papillons on here. The autumn A mutation. Such a lovely, a lovely piece of work. Definitely right on theme. Okay, let's see what else we got. Uh, oh yeah, this is Saturn's. And uh, a magnificent use of light on that one. Really, really can't say enough good things about it. Beautiful, beautiful work. Okay. Ah. Big, huge orange frond. Oh my gosh, that is huge. Okay, and we have little stuffed kitties. So cute. And of course the fishies. And a fishy bond here. Little kitties. So cute. Ooh, we have uh, Flame Wing Fae with Clouds Effect. Very cool. And this is, uh, of course, the theme is Enchanted Forest. So, uh, lots of magical things happen. Very pretty. That was, uh, that was Stormy's. Yeah, Stormy came and did a display for us. That was very, very sweet of her. We have Fairy Kisses here. Of course, it tells a story. Murder in the Garden. Hedgehogs eat the eggies. Took out that uh, dragonfly too. And that's a tier six dragon too with Titan mutation, Titan body, and uh, W Rainbow L. So that wasn't a cream puff. Special body with a harrowing wing. Very pretty. Love the display. Also so pretty. They're after it though. Run! Now the snails are running away. Those evil little hedgehogs. Mm. Stay away from the home. We have Sandy. A couple of really nice uh, tails up there. 
Everything in miniature though. I love the I love how she stuck the scale on that. That's really nice. Yeah, that's a dwarf normal uh, fiddler with EV's mutation. Very pretty. Here we have beautiful disaster. She she uh, pulled out some uh, specials over here. Creepy stuff, familiars. And uh, here's her B Halloween C body tort at uh, turtle. Once it's a boo diddly. <laughs> We also have the haunted A wing over here, and uh, yeah, it's dark, so it's kind of hard to see, but uh, it's really creepy. And of course, here is the totem, small creepy friend. I don't know if it's called a totem or not, but. Um, you put the, pull these out um, during during the season, and you can get the, the special Halloween traits to drop in your in your uh, papillons, no matter where they're at. Within this, uh, well, this one in particular is uh, 20 meter first, so very beautiful. Rex, of course, um, very beautiful nature scenes. Vivid E mutation on that. That's a really stunning uh, mutation for that frog. We got tomatoes. That's a grand deal, too. Of course, we have delphiniums. Burst H on a lily, tier 5. All sorts of lovely things up here. And the foxy fox. Hmm. A couple of foxy foxes. And that's a topaz pumpkin. And a golden star? She made us a really pretty display of uh, fall colors with bonsai trees. Very cute. I love the way she used those uh, little mini rocks there. Absolutely pretty. And we have naughty snails. Chewing on a chewing on a radish. It's a mild radish, so they should come out alive. But absolutely beautiful. Several different size two, size uh, classes too. Very nice. Justice. A couple of prize winning um, snails up here. It's a tier 8 gargantuan. Wow. Autumn shell, of course. And then we have a uh, tier 8 prince with autumn shell. Of course, you have to let the gnomes take care of you. It's important. Oh, I can see a circle almost. That's not a circle. It's a uh, dragon queen. Ooh, f tier 15 dragon. Normal Kree, it's a green keeper, and uh, it looks like it's almost pure red. With an ancient body, uh, a worm wing mutation, and a sentinel effect. That's an impressive dragonfly right there. This one's a tier 9. And that's, a, uh, and that's that is pure red. With an ancient worm and stars D effect. Wow, so that's really, really something else. And right here we have Miss Mabel. We have uh, Mossum. Did a good job hiding her uh, papillons within the uh, confines of these uh, little this little harvest scene right here with the gourds and things. But uh, be colorful. A body on a f 
F forest uh, flower mutation is quite impressive, tiny. And you can see all the small papillons kind of mixed in here. It's really, really well done. Um, when you look at it first, like where's the papillons? You can't see them. The only thing you see is the alien plant on the very back, then you look closer and ooh. She actually did a good job hiding all these in here. I'll certainly spend some time with this one, guys, for a bit. And uh, here is Renez Maze. Lovely, lovely thing. Gosh, she gets, she gets all of this decor I've never seen before. It's just amazing stuff. But here we go. Um, this is a magical body with a leaf wing. Uh, Faye over here. It's a tier 6 bard. It's going to sing and dance and make your plants happy in the garden. And let's see. we got uh, um, a tier 6 butterfly. It's a, an eternal with leaf uh, wing mutation with a, a leaves effect. And of course we have the leaves effect on this pumpkin up here too. It's a very charming little display. Well done, well done. Okay. Well that concludes uh, can that uh, concludes. Oh wait, wait. Um, you know what? I don't think it does. Because Lacella has her little one over here in the middle. I forgot about that one. Leaves effect seems to be the theme. Magic water. Falling out of magic. Pretty much the entire video. This is uh, everything for posterity. Apparently, all the source of the water is coming from Sellers. And she's got these beautiful fiddlers, too. And Shadow Dances. Where are sh Yeah, here's Shadow Dances. Just to give a little idea of what's expected. A bee amber body with an obsidian sucker mutation. Crazy. And this is going. Here we go. Ooh, ladybug. Oh, that's got the Halloween F. Look at that. I think how pretty that is. That's really something else. Gorgeous stuff. And we hope you enjoyed um, this video, and uh, of course, make some comments down in the likes for whatever, whatever, for whatever reason. Free speech zone. So uh, go ahead and say whatever you want, and um, you know, give me some constructive criticism. Of course, I generally do things off the seat of my pants, so uh, I didn't do much uh, um, planning for this, but uh, usually it runs on pretty good. But if you have any other questions. You can um, ask them down below, but uh, do do uh, do make it a point to hit that like button. Thank you so much, guys, and uh, we'll see you next garden tour, which will be the winter, I believe. <laughs>